constantly new rumors about Nintendo Switch Pro hardware coming out, but actually a new leak would lead us to believe that the next Switch might be a new Switch Lite. Let's talk about it. The leak comes from a post on 4chan, and I'm going to read it as is. The grammar isn't necessarily correct, but it says, Former Nintendo employee here, I have a small tip on what the next Switch hardware refresh is being worked on by Nintendo. It's a Switch Lite with support for cellular networks and a slightly bigger screen. Tentatively named Nintendo Switch Lite 5G, likely the final name. It supports 5G and 4G LTE networks in addition to Wi-Fi and uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon X55 5G modem. It's to have a 10 to 20% bigger screen over the current Nintendo Switch Lite and planned for a spring 2023 release in the US, Canada, UK, Japan, and Australia and to have a $249.99 MSRP. On the bottom here, it says that AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon would have partnerships in the U.S. with Nintendo, and they would have 5G-specific data plans and discounted bundles with the data plans and Nintendo Switch Online memberships. It names other partners here, like NTT Docomo in Japan, Rogers in Canada, Optus in Australia, and O2 in the U.K. Now, a portable console with mobile data connectivity isn't necessarily a new thing, The PS Vita did have an option for 3G connectivity and even going all the way back to the Nokia N-Gage, which really was kind of like a cell phone that played games. But these things have been available in the past, so it's not a new concept, but it is new for Nintendo. Now one might argue, why couldn't you just open up a mobile hotspot on your phone and connect the Switch to that instead of having connectivity on the Switch itself? Well, if the Switch itself connected to a data plan you would remove that step altogether. It would always be connected, and anytime you wanted to download a game or play anything online, you would just automatically be connected to the internet. You wouldn't even have to worry about it. Don't get me wrong, a always connected Switch would probably actually be really cool. My issue, though, would be the battery life. I have the original Nintendo Switch here with the older processor, and from what I'm being told, I could get about two to six hours of battery life, depending on what game I play. The newer Switch can get a little bit more than that, but the Switch Lite actually gets less battery life than the original Switch. And to throw 5G connectivity into it, you're really going to run into a problem getting even two hours of battery life out of that, even on the small game. And from my personal experience with smartphones, if you're in a 5G area and there's very little signal in the area you're in, that battery can run out really quick. At the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, if this leak is even plausible, you know what, it could be. The only reason I'd say so is that this concept is really weird and not something that necessarily everyone's going to be on board with, and that's really par for the course for what Nintendo's been doing lately. If you're thinking about buying a third-party Switch dock and you're curious on whether or not it's a good idea, go ahead and click on that video, and I'll see you in the next one.